What is going on, wonderful people? Today, we've got a brand new tactic, and it is going to be Regie Labrie. I hope I've said that right. I do apologize to anyone if I've mispronounced that, but it is going to be the Sunderland manager. He is absolutely cooking this season, and you know what? I've had a ton of requests, and this proves I do take him seriously. So, let's get into it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're going to start with a tactic testing today, and of course, it has to be Sunderland. With Sunderland, we went on quite the journey, actually winning the championship, and also a friendly cup, which was against a team which... To be fair, we probably should be beating. Both of the English Cups, I will say, weren't the best display, but I'm not really too fussed considering we have come out and won that Skybet Championship, which in the game, we are predicted to finish in 11th place. And I will say, we did pick up six losses over a 46-game season, which in my opinion, is still very, very good. And as you can see, our players really did thrive within this 4-3-3 system. Now, as you can see... The likes of Patrick Roberts with 24 assists. You've also got 22 and 17 there coming in from Isador. A real good assist display. Not only that, we've got several players in the average rating that are all Sunderland players. So they really do suit this style of play. And stat-wise, we're going to back that up with actual stats in your face. 124 goals being scored. When it comes to the fewer shots, we're also going to take that home and of course picking up the most points per game. Possession, we are still going to be somewhat consistent with 58% of the ball, not ranking one. Southampton a little bit ahead, but still a very impressive stat line. When it comes to the fewest conceded, we're going to be a few more away from Ipswich Town, who had a great season when it comes to the defensive side, picking up the most or the fewest conceded and the most clean sheets. When it comes to the most clean sheets, we are going to be tied in second place with two other teams. Crazy, that three teams with the same amount of clean sheets. But overall, a very good season based off trophies, based off the team stats as well. And the data hub we can go and have a look at, scoring 2.7 goals per game, only 0.74 conceded, over 14 shots a match, a great pass completion, and a very good tackle win ratio. It was a very, very good season. And what I will say is, the highlights as well, which we're now going to watch, they look pretty impressive. We're going to watch this 6-1 league win against Blackburn, I believe. And we get things going off inside with a great set piece inside of about two minutes there. So a very good start there. And as you can see, we're just so good at winning the ball back with Roberts getting one of the easier goals in his career, putting it politely. But from that point, it was complete dominant set piece routines. Again, you've got to make sure you're going to get them because they absolutely cook. And we were just playing through the middle, having a great time, great runs in behind. And it's made to look so easy with this tactic. In fact, it was so easy and the way we're playing football wasn't completely perfect as Todd Cantwell does go through and does get a goal. But at the end of the day, it didn't really mean anything because we were right back at it with Roberts, who is some player, by the way. Great link up play from Samed there into Brown, who hits it into the bottom right from distance as well in what is going to be the second to last goal of the game with Pervader picking it up. And it's very scrappy, a little bit lucky, but we will take it. And as you can see, stat wise, more possession more shots on target, more shots overall. There is no question we deserved every single point we got. I then went and tested with a top four team. Please no one laugh because we are a top four team in the game at least. And what I will say is we come out and we had a great season, putting it bluntly. We are going to win the Carabao Cup 4-0 over West Ham United, which can be a tricky game. The Europa League, we're actually going to go out and beat Real Sociedad 3-0. Again, can be a tricky game with United. The Friendly Cup, we are also going to win 10-0 against Dynamo Dresden. They may as well not have even turned up. And the Premier League, we are going to win just over Man City with quite a fair few of our players performing well. Marcus Rashford and Garnacho, so proven the wide areas are very important within this tactic. So this tactic was the attack and version. Also to clarify, we do provide free tactics for every single tactic on this channel. So this was a slightly more attack and variant. And as you can see, the wingers do get a lot more involved compared to the reserved and default tactic, even though Nana picking up the most clean sheets there. So a very, very good season in terms of individual player stats and obviously points we got. And as you can see, it is going to be this time around an incredible defensive display with a slightly better team, a remarkable change there. Possession, we are still going to be somewhat in the mix with 59%, just 3% shy of Arsenal, but who won the Premier League. Most goals at 113, the fewer shots against, and also, of course, the most points per game. Just a little bit more, more there than Manchester City. The data hub, we can go and look at 2.97 goals per game. So a bit of an increase, 16.8, 16.8, 6.18 shots per game, only 0.42 conceded, a very good pass completion, and a very good tackle win ratio. Now, what I will say is, with this tactic, if I had to sum it up in one word, 
I'm going to go consistent because it's not scoring five goals a game, but also you're not you're not conceding hardly any goals a game. It's good possession, good pass completion, good tackle win ratio. It does everything to a very good level. And honestly, it's probably one of the more sort of tactics I would advise that you could play with anyone because it genuinely is an incredibly balanced but consistent 4-3-3 football. Let's go watch some highlights. So it's got to be that European final against Real Sociedad with Bruno over the top into Anthony, into Marcus Rashford, who is going to make it 1-0. And this was a bit of a stinker from them. Awful distribution. And Bruno Fernandes is going to capitalise and make it too, with again him linked up in the third goal into De Ligt, down the right-hand side, into Rashford. A very comfortable game. And as you can see, less possession, not an issue. We absolutely dominated the shots. An easy trophy, an easy final. Thank you. And lastly, we are going to test with a powerhouse, that being Celtic, where we do come out and win that via play cup 1-0 over Dundee. The Scottish Cup 3-0, again, made to look like light work, that one. And the league, we are going to come out and actually win and close to going invincible. Only two losses out of 38 games against Rangers. No, to beaten Rangers twice, a very good season with a load of our players putting up some really impressive stats. And as you can see, an easier league with a powerhouse. Possession, no one was near us. Pass completion, no one was near us really again. Goals, no one near us. Most shots, no one near us. Conceded, no one near us. Clean sheets, no one near us. A remarkable Scottish display. Now, I know they are the one powerhouse of the video. So, obviously, the more powerhouse of a team you are, the more stats are going to be looking better, etc., etc. Which is why I sort of threw in like a Manchester United who are a middle of a sort of top four to six sort of pack. Sunderland predicted 11th where we come out and put on a remarkable display. And obviously, this is the other side of the coin. So, three goals per game, the best we've had. 15.95 shots per game, 0.39 conceded, and 89.64 percent pass completion and again this was done using the attack and variant so a great set of results let's go and watch some celtic highlights so the scottish cup final we are going to go over and lift that i will spoil it because they offered absolutely nothing so there's not too much to talk about a great goal there to get things going and we're going to build up again here down the left hand side into palmer not palmer palmer but just to clarify as we are going to make it 2-0 and it is going to be engels driving through the middle into mccohen who lashes it into the bottom left hand side and as you can see again Again, they literally had one shot on target, 23% possession. They may as well stayed at home. I mean, that is dominance. But now, of course, over to your favorite part of the video. That is going to be the tactic breakdown. All three tactics. You need all three. If you are enjoying so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And once again, if you haven't, be sure to turn on that notification bell. It's completely free and you'll never miss another post. And if you, that is right, you enjoy rebuilds, you're missing out. Come and check out the second channel, Daily Josh, where we post rebuilds between once every two to four days and your team could be on there. So go over and check it out. But let's go through and break down this tactic. And to start, you simply want to go over, create your own style, and load in that beautiful 4-3-3. When it comes to actually making this tactic, again, it is going to be the clean slate, and the mentality is going to be buffed up to positive. So it should give you that positive 4-3-3. And we are going to go through and talk about some of the player roles right now. Starting off with the goalkeeper, who is going to be a sweeper keeper on support. And do you know what? It's pretty basic, but it gets the job done to to a very very good level when it comes to the right back we are actually going to go not with a fullback but an inverted fullback who is simply going to be set to defend right there so again an inverted option on the right things are already looking pretty nice we are then going to go with two ball playing defenders who are both simply going to be set to the default so nothing too special but to be honest the back line is actually quite reserved the most attacking option we have is going to be the wing back on the left on support who is going to have some instructions which is going to consist of getting the crosses more in. We're going to run wide with the ball and also tackling harder, of course, when we're out of possession to try and win the ball back. So it's a nice mixed back line, which offers something very, very different, but works really well in the game. Going over to that midfield, I want to quickly say before, if you are interested in getting all three of these tactics and all of these wonderful perks, including access to the rebuild files, giveaways, and much more, at the moment, we have a £500 giveaway going on, split between multiple winners, so a really good chance of winning. You can come on over and check out the Patreon in the link below, where you can be part of 500 
thousand people. But let's go over and go over to that midfield, where we are, of course, going to change this DM and introduce a DLP, who is simply going to be put on the defensive duty again to add a little bit more structure and stability to the back line because we do go pretty attacking as we go up the pitch. And I don't want to go, I don't want to go too overkill, to be honest. So we are going to have him on defend, but he is going to be told to close down more and also tackle harder. So the great thing about this player is he is a defensively minded player, but he's not going to be boring. He is going to be putting in challenges. He is going to be closing the ball down more, but obviously holding that position, dribbling less and shooting less. Win the ball back and do your passing. That's literally all you're there for. That's your that's your job. That's in the words of Roy Keane, that is your job. And it works really, really well. Going over to the rest of the team, the box to box we are simply going to have on the left, and he is going to be naturally set to the default. And next to him, we are going to go with the AP, who is going to be set to attack, and he is going to have some instructions. And those instructions are going to consist of getting further forwards and also roaming from the position. A very important two set of instructions here because I want him getting forwards, but also roaming about, linking up with Roberts, even linking up with Isidore on this left-hand side. Really linking up and being a nightmare because it works really, really well. Speaking of something that works really well is our wingers because they absolutely cooked in that United season. And we are going to go over and introduce two inverted wingers. So on the left, an inverted winger on attack. And on the right, it's going to be exactly the same. Now, both of these players are going to share both the same set of instructions, which is going to consist of sitting narrow and also tackling harder. So the same for the left as we just done on the right hand side. Again, it's not a bad thing to have players doing the same. It works well like a beautiful jigsaw puzzle coming together. And lastly, that advanced forward is also going to be set to tackle harder. Now, what I've done today is we are going to talk through some of the actual sort of player stats, which individual players done in their positions. Because I did see a comment about it and I quite like it. If you do like this concept, please do leave a comment or if you think it's a waste of time, be honest, you guys made this channel, so you, your opinion matters. So some of the players I really wanted to talk about is actually going to be no one really in the back line because there wasn't really any standout players. The wingbacks didn't really provide an incredible amount of assists because it's not their job to, but starting off with the DLP who come in and dropped quite a reserve but decent seven assists in the season and actually has performed quite a well-rounded sort of set of stats. So he come in and is definitely worth a mention. And I will say just look for a player in this position who is purely going to be good at winning the ball back and has immaculate passing range. That is literally all you need. Going over to the box to box, which of course is going to be Dan Neal. He comes in and actually scores five goals from box to box and also picks up 10 assists, which in my opinion is very good considering, of course, he is on no custom instructions. He's not being told to get further forward. So to be honest with you, five goals and 10 assists is actually really, really good, but not as good as this man. We are going to go and turn to Adil, who comes in with 16 goals and 20 22 assists in this AP role and like I said the danger of him drifting about from area to area is absolutely incredible he done so well so hats off to him because he got the job done to a very good level and speaking of that Roberts on the right hand side 19 goals 25 assists Isidore 20 goals 17 assists in the Sunderland team, they even cooked. And this was the default tactic. Not the attacking tactic. We're scoring goals for fun. And speaking of goals, Connolly comes in with 32 goals and 4 assists. The attack, the midfield absolutely sublime. It's really, really good quality stuff. But team instructions, enough waffle. Positive mentality in possession. We are going to go down too fairly narrow. We're going to work the ball into the box while passing into the space. We're going to play out from the back because it's what Sunderland do, and we are going to go with a slightly higher tempo and also a shorter passing directness. I would like to say, if you are playing as a smaller team, you could lower this tempo by one, and you would also be completely fine. In transition, we're going to counter press, counter, play to anyone across the back line with no favoured distribution type. And lastly, out of possession, we are going to maintain with that standard line, the mid block. We're going to whack this up by one, two more often, and also get stuck in. So quite a reserved set of sort of, you know, team instructions, really, for a tactic like this. And that's going to give you the default tactic we used with Sunderland. Now to the attacking one, where you're going to score some more goals. So the attacking one, of course, is going to share some of the same DNA because we want to still replicate the style. The goalkeeper does change. The wingback, however, 
is now going to be set to attack on cross more often, run wide, and also tackle harder. Both of the ball players, they remain the same. The inverted wing back is now set to support on the default instruction. So both of the wing backs getting buffed up a little bit. The DLP also goes from defend to support on close down more and also tackle harder. The box to box, one more instruction, get further forwards. The Mazala on attack, obviously a big change from the AP, a lot more attacking and a lot more committed to making things happen. And trust me, it worked really well. The inverted winger on the right and also the left do remain the same. We didn't really feel the need to have shoot more often because I wouldn't say it's too realistic. And lastly, the advanced forward is simply going to consist of tackling harder. Now, when it comes to the team instructions, it is going to be based off the attacking mentality on the clean slate. In possession, we're going to go down to fairly narrow. We're going to pass the ball into the space, still working the ball into the box, and of course, playing out from the back. The real big change here is a maxed out tempo. The passing, that does remain the same. The creative freedom, however, we're going to add be more expressive. In transition, we're going to counter press. We are also going to counter. We're going to get the ball moving quickly because it is an attack and version of a tactic. And lastly, we're going to play to anyone across that back line because, again, get it quickly, get it played to the back line, build up. We do play out from the back. It makes complete sense. And lastly, out of possession, we're going to go with the high press instead of the mid block, still with the standard line with get stuck in and, of course, a maxed out trigger press. And that's going to give you the attack and version of the tactic. But I have gone to the effort to make a defensive tactic for underdogs or to defend your games out with. So let's go over and talk about it. And that is going to be where this comes in. The perfect tactic for smaller teams or purely to dominate and control a game after a goal up. And you simply just want to run the clock down and reserve some energy. So the goalkeeper does remain the same. The wing back on the left now actually on defend on tackle harder. A defensive inverted fullback on the default and two default ball playing defenders. The DLP comes in on defend on close down more and also tackle harder, whereas the box-to-box -box goes back to being on support on the default, a supportive central midfield player on pass at short, dribble less, shoot less, roam, and also move into the channels. So a player that is going to be moving about a lot, but not really taking too many risks, perfect for keeping the ball and linking up play. The inverted winger on the right and on the left are both now on support, still on sit narrow and tackle harder and the advanced forward well he remains the same because i still want to play and make dangerous runs that we can find on any sort of counter attacking opportunities the mentality is going to drop down to balanced and get an in possession kicking off with an instant change with all the way down to narrow really compress the team and make it very compact and very hard to play against we are still going to be working the ball into the box passing into the space and playing out from the back the creative freedom, though, instead of being more expressive, we're going to be more disciplined, sensible on that attack and approach. The tempo is going to remain on standard. The passing is going to look to go down one. I did mention earlier in the video, you can get away with playing a standard tempo as we done. In transition, we're still going to counter press because I still want a little bit of fight in the team. And we still are actually going to counter because you still want the chance of going and grabbing a goal. We're going to slow the pace down and also play to anyone across the back line with no favoured distribution type. And lastly, out of possession, we're going to roll with that mid block and this time a lower defensive line. Get stuck in and leave that trigger press bang basic in the middle. And that's going to give you boys and girls not just one, not two, but three variants of the Sunderland manager, a fantastic manager who's doing a great job. It has to be said. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And once again, if you haven't, do subscribe because we've got a ton of content for the rest of FM24, not just on this channel, but also on the second channel. It's content, content, content. You don't want to miss it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.